Okay, so now we will talk about two types of uh, penicillins. One is penicillinase, pencil, sensitive penicillin, uh, or beta lactamase, sensitive penicillin, and the uh, uh, second one is beta lactamase resistant, uh, resistant penicillins, or penicillinase resistant penicillins. Okay, so the penicillin sensitive penicillins. Um, include amoxicillin, ampicillin, and amino penicillins. It means uh, that uh, these these types of uh, penicillin, like amoxicillin, ampicillin, amino penicillin, uh, can be destroyed by or can be inactivated by penicillinases, beta lactamases. Okay, so mechanism uh, its mechanism is same as penicillin. It is wider spectrum uh, penicillinase sensitive. Also combined with clavulinic acid to protect uh, to protect against destruction by beta lactamase. Okay, as I already mentioned that it can be destroyed by beta lactamases. So in uh, order to protect this uh, destruction, we can uh, use uh, the um, uh, clavulinic uh, acid um, along with these amoxicillin, ampicillin, and amino penicillins. Okay, so uh, when we use it with clavulinic acid, so it is um, these uh, penicillin penicillinase sensitive penicillins. Um, uh, protected against destruction by beta lactamases. Okay, now the clinical uses. So uh, it is uh, extended spectrum penicillin, and it is used for H influenza, H pylori, E. coli, Listeria, monocytogenes, Proteus mirabilis, Salmonella, Shigella, Enterococci. Okay, so the, against these infections, um, the penicillin, uh, penicillinase sensitive penicillins can be used. Okay, now the adverse effects. So adverse effects include uh, hypersensitivity reactions, rash. And pseudomembranous colitis. So these are the side effects of amoxicillin, ampicillin, and amino penicillin. One thing uh, has uh, is read um, has written uh, about amoxicillin that amoxicillin has greater oral bioavailability than ampicillin. Okay. So this is uh, penicillinase sensitive penicillin. Now the penicillinase sen uh, resistant penicillins means that it. It is uh, the the penicillinases or beta lactamases is unable to destroy these penicillins like dacloxicillin, de um, nesicillin, oxicillin. The mechanism of action is same as penicillin and it is narrow spectrum. Penicillinase resistance because bulky R groups block access of beta lactamase to beta lactam ring. So these antibiotic are resistant to penicillinases. Why? Because it has bulky R groups, alkyl groups, which block excess excess of beta lactamase to beta lactam ring. Okay, so due to bulky R groups, uh, the beta lactamases can't destroy these antibiotics, these uh, penicillin penicillins. Okay, clinical use it is used against Staph aureus. Okay, so penicillin resistant uh, penicillin can be used for Staph aureus. Okay, uh, because the the uh, Staph aureus is a uh, beta lactamase producing antibiotic uh, bacteria so as this is uh, resistant to beta lactamases so these anti uh, these uh, antibiotics can be used against staph aureus but not against MRSA methicillin resistant staph aureus why because um, the um, in the MRSA there is um, uh, mutated protein um, penicillin binding protein PBP there is mutated penicillin binding protein um, which make the uh, uh, these antibiotics unable to act on MRSA. Okay, so uh, it um, it is uh, not used for MRSA infections. Now the adverse effects adverse effects include hypersensitivity reactions, interstitial nephritis. Mechanism of resistance I have already talked about that MRSA has altered or mutated penicillin binding protein target size. So this is the mechanism of resistance to these antibiotics. Now other group anti pseudomonal penicillins. These penicillins uh, is active against uh, anti uh, pseudomonal infections. Okay, pseudomonas uh, species. Pepericillin included pepericillin and tacricillin. Okay, now the mechanism is same as penicillin and it is extended spectrum. Penicillinase is sensitive and used with beta lactamase inhibitor um, like clavulinic acid and other uh, beta lactamase inhibitor. Clinical use it is uh, uh, used for infection, pseudomonal infection, and gram negative rods. And the adverse effects include hypersensitivity reaction. So this is all about uh, types of penicillins. Thank you.